But I suppose I'll tell you about a film called Akira now, just to top it off and end it off. And I'm ending on a high note now, now after I feel like I've done something productive. Got all that negativity out of my fucking system. But uh, Akira is a film released in 1988. A Japanese anime film. Released by Manga. Funded by Pioneer and Canon and a couple of other big corporations at the time. It was... Uh, it was probably one of the last films to be completely cell shaded aside from a few CGA effects on lights and stuff but uh, it's a post apocalyptic cyberpunk film from 1988 directed by Kutsuru Otomo based on a 1982 manga the same name which I've actually got and I'll give you a few flick through here I'll just show you some of the artwork on this you know you know it's just like really cool cool artwork you know it's like the film and the book can both be respected in their own right you know it's a great manga I've got six volumes of this it's a great manga but uh, I've heard people talk about how the film and the, the book were both you know kind of getting made at the same time and they're both good in their own right the book the book is a lot more deeper a lot more fleshed out story but uh, the film is actually the first novel and the last novel of the books put into this like cohesive film but it's basically about this biker gang two friends Kaneda and Tetsu uh, Tetsu is like the weaker guy in the gang he always gets to ride the bike last and stuff and Kaneda is like the big brawler but Tetsu it so happens finds out he has these uh, crazy mental powers the, 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 the authorities pick him up and start studying his mind and they realise that he has the same patterns of uh, the, the guy that had mental powers before that actually it so happens destroyed uh, Tokyo with uh, his mental abilities and they learn that uh, Tetsu has the same you know mental abilities as this guy that caused an apocalyptic end to the city that was built up afterwards which is now called Neo Tokyo in the film but uh, the story basically revolves around how he, his power gets out of hand how he was the weakest member of the group and how you know being uh, like coming of age as a teen he's, he, he doesn't know how to control his power he's, he's out of control and it's uh, and he, he gets really fucking crazy his tel tel telepathy gets so hard and then out, out of hand and then at the end of the film it becomes this big bulbous fat mess which swells up its mental energies takes so much power it becomes this big bleh. and uh it's basically a story about sci-fi dystopianism motorbikes gang warfare it's uh the coolest fucking the coolest fucking manga in my opinion I mean a lot of kids now are on the anime and shit like that there. I personally think Akira is the only anime film you need. It's the best. It has influenced many films such as The Matrix, Metal Gear Solid, Final Fantasy, a film called Dark City from 1997 which is fantastic. Check that out as well. Kill Bill, Kanye West, The Dark Knight and even Star Wars and the video game Half-Life. So uh, Akira's inspiration and reach goes far and wide. It's inspired many different fucking uh, things. It's also heavily influenced by an anime called Tetsune 28 Go. And, uh, you know, but you want to see the artwork in this film, eh? You know, the detail and the drawings and the way they've done the animation. It's really fluid animation. Like, it's, uh, it's amazing. I found it back in the old days when I wouldn't used to read computer magazines. I was big under the like the the, 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 the the subculture of video games and they would always talk about, you know, these Japanese films that you couldn't get over here, you know. But I read about it that day and they were talking about it so much about how it's the greatest film ever. I asked my ma they rented out a video world up in fucking up in Shippy Street or whatever the fuck you call it. What do you call that? A Shippy Street is it? She went up, rented it out for me, two box sets, I took it home. I didn't even really enjoy it at the time, I thought it was overhyped, but as I got older and became a teenager, I revisited it. Revisited it, and it was fucking brilliant, hey. And uh, I remember seeing on the box, when it was when I bought, re -bought a copy up in Virgin there, a load of years ago, it said, uh, no Akira, no Matrix, it's that important, you know. So, 
Uh, it was one of the last films to be completely 160,000 animation cells made and going on they make it. And it was also the first to feature CGA in an animation before Beauty and the Beast, in fact, which is widely known as doing that. But uh, that's it, folks. Basically, that's it. It's a classic film. Check it out. And, uh, you know, it's like it's, 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 a, it's about a young man's power getting out of control and how he's. How his best mate tries to keep him in line, you know, but it's uh, it's an awesome film, and they're talking about making a live action remake of it, which will probably be destroy it. It's a bit of a dream of mine to make a remake of it myself, even in a short film context. But uh, you can't beat the animation, you know. But I'll talk about more stuff next time, folks. Until next time, I think we'll let it go at that.